All right, how you guys doing? Uh, my name is Chris Casal, and I am a purveyor of geekery at the Heathcote School in Scarsdale, New York. And this Ignite talk is a talk that's a meta talk. It's a story about how I use the Ignite format with students. So it's an Ignite about teaching with Ignites. And as you know, Ignite started in Seattle. They're quick presentations. They're fun and engaging. But it's not about the technology. It's about the talk. And Ignites are now happening all over the world and at conferences. And we do them in classrooms as well. So we always have to start with the why, right? That's the most important thing. Kids can't get excited about standing up on a stage like this if they're not convinced about the why. So I'll give you, this is gonna be about the whys that we use with our kids, and if you take this into your classroom, you'll sort of have to come up with those whys for yourself. The student voice is our why. Students can put their voice on paper, but we don't literally hear their voice. We want to have more opportunities for the students to get up in front of audiences so we can actually hear their voice, and they can have these great presenting experiences standing in front of a room. And it's a story, it's a narrative. Everything they've done, everything they learn, everything we teach them ends up being their narrative, their story of learning. So this Ignite for them is a story of their learning at the end of a unit, at the end of a lesson, whatever it may be. Written stories are great and we do a ton of writing and there's nothing wrong with writing, it's awesome. But they need to have these experiences where they're up in front of people telling those stories and allowing people to hear their voice and their inflection and their tone and all those key elements of public speaking. And it's creative and expressive. So the students can write and we can get a sense of who they are, but to actually see them up on a stage, to see them, to hear them, to feel that emotion, to see that impact that they're giving, that's more powerful than just writing alone. And making a simple presentation is actually really difficult. By building a simple presentation, we're working in design skills, photography skills, image sourcing skills, all these amazing skills that they're gonna need later on. And we start in the fourth grade. So in fourth grade, we do seven minute ignites, or I'm sorry, seven slide ignites, minute 45 seconds. It's a simple way for them to tell their stories of learning. We start with the burn slide, which is the first one, which is the introduction, because we figure that you're gonna lose some audience while they're sitting down and, and rustling and stuff like that. And then that's basically introducing the topic, getting everyone calm, get everyone focused. The last slide is gonna be the conclusion. Like any story's got a conclusion. But again, it's another burn slide because we do this with parents. So we'll have a room full of parents in there. And once you get to that last slide, they're clapping, they're cheering. So whatever's being said on that is just kind of closing out. It counts towards, but we're losing it. The keys are those five slides in the middle. It's the meat of the sandwich, right? It's your core elements, your main points of what they're trying to get across, what they're synthesizing, what they've taken their learning down to. It's one or two points per slide, excuse me. So with fourth graders, they can focus on two points, they get 30 seconds per key idea, and they can express themselves and explain those key ideas in depth. Or they can go five different ones. We actually start practicing with their five favorite places in the building, and they do a practice tonight with a picture from each. This is our fourth grade parent share. The fourth graders do Colonial America and American Revolution Ignites. Our fifth graders do social issues ignites where they research issues and excite the audience to act on those social issues. Fifth graders do a capstone project at the end of the fifth grade. No more trifold boards. We don't believe in gluing paper onto a piece of cardboard. They get up in front of the audience and share their awesome. For fifth graders, it's 12 slides, three minutes, same premise. What's great about this format is you can hack it to tell your story, which is a line I've stolen from the folks at Ignite. Because you can do the one minute 45, you can do a three minute, you can do the full five minute. And the best part is there's examples. Scott Birkin is one of the founders of an Ignite and he's awesome. And he gives a great Ignite about how to give an Ignite. And I start my students on that all the time. But then we also have my YouTube channel where we have all the examples of all the previous classes that have done it, the fourth and fifth graders. So we have tons of exemplars. So we can now then Ignite the classroom. We can use these same ideas and these same techniques to give students those valuable opportunities and experiences to stand up there and speak to a captive audience. And it's not just the written word, but there's still a ton of writing because it's still their voice, it's still their story. They're still writing, editing, revising, rehearsing. They're still going through all those processes, but now they're doing it in this format. So how do we get started? Start with the why. Get them excited about why they're doing it and about why it's important for them to share that voice. Watch the examples. Tons of mentor texts out there. 
Focus on the story. It's still writing. Just because they're presenting doesn't mean you lose the writing process. And let them get excited about sharing their voice, their actual literal voice, and standing up in front of an audience. And that's it. Thank you.